Howdy folks, hope you're doing staying safe. I've uh, started acquiring the Pan American Cruiser Line, and so far I'm going to tell you it's not like the Japanese light cruiser line. They don't suck. Um, they're actually a lot of fun, and some of the biggest bonus I've seen, I think this is my first game. First game or second game? I don't recall. But this is the La Argentina, uh, and I'm going to bastardize all these names all the way up to St. Martin at uh, Tier 10. But... Uh, the boats that are tier 5 below don't get the special resource and consumable. It's my previous video. You guys can go look at it. That consumable makes a huge difference to this boat. These series of boats, as well, they have a heel. The heel is phenomenal. I don't know any tier 5 cruisers I can think of in a game that have a heel at tier 5. If you guys do know, let me know down in the comments. I can't remember anyone that does have a heel. And it makes a huge difference. She also comes with Hydra, and they come with a, 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 a fighter aircraft. They only have AP as well, so... As always, let's get into it. I'm going to go through some of the uh, quick stats about it first off. Armor? No. <laughs> I tell you, show you this. You can see there's almost no armor at all. Even at Destroyer Companion with Citadel U. Citadels are kind of high. So she's a typical Tier 5 cruiser, but she's not quite like other cruisers made out of, of uh, Citadels. 23.9 for hit points. Not good. Artillery. Here's her stick. 152s. 10 second reload. Turret traverse, I got it down to 15.7 with skills. But decent range of 14.2. I'm actually kind of impressed. She's not the best, but she's not bad at all. Now she's got two torpedo sides, three torpedoes each side. Look at the range for uh, being detected 1.3 kilometers, 64 knots is really good. And they do over 15,000 damage. Eight kilometers, pretty good. I like it. Reload times are decent too. This I hate. You can only do five kilometers for airstrike drops, and you get one every 30 seconds. Submarines are your bane, even though I do kill submarines in this boat and the tier six maneuverability 32 knots she is really slow uh 610 for rudder shift it's not great and rudder shifts at 6.8 seconds i had to actually bring that down 8.6 protectability that's really good actually and 4.3 penalty for firing and smoke and don't forget for submarines your uh penalty for uh, uh detect detectability by air is 5.8 so every tier six submarine is going to have a, a, a jump on you I always take my arm, main armor modification. I take damage control system on this one because I want to cool down. I want better aiming and accuracy, so I took that. Pretty much standard repair. The heal is fantastic. 20 seconds plus 143. Hydra was 3 and 3 and 2. So 3 kilometers for torpedoes, 3 for ship. It lasts 110 seconds, so almost 2 minutes. I like it. And she's got a fighter, which does help against the aircraft gears. Those are my flags. Uh, I just hit the standard camo. I actually bought this camo. I don't have a camo on it now anymore. I hate taking ships out naked. Let's go with the captain skills. So I took Grease the gear. Uh, I did take Swift because it makes the torpedoes go 5% faster. You're going to want incoming fire alert. I take last stand because they're cruisers, priority target. Those three are kind of important to me. I take adrenaline rush. I'm taking damage. I do take top grade gunners so that way I can get better firing. I do take RPF on this because it does help these, this line of cruisers to see destroyers and whatnot where they are. You can usually ambush them with your hydro. And of course, I take concealment. Overall, so far I've already done it. Watch this bounce. Not bad. That's from a battleship. You should have sit it on me. So again, it's kind of forgiving. And the heal is fantastic. It does a lot good. You'll see the tier 6 one or the previous video on the new consumable that they get. But it's a, it's a fun boat. I enjoy taking this boat out. I felt like I actually could contribute. I can uh, do my wiggling right here so the battleship can't actually hit me. It's a DD killer. Oh, there's two DDs on the side that I just killed. You can see them up there in the mini-map. It's a good boat. I think we actually lost this game, come to think of it. But anyway, I like the boat. Uh, so far, the Tier 5 and Tier 6 I've played so far, and I will go above. I'll keep going. See, you miss me. Good maneuvering, juking, jiving. I like it. They're good. They're easy to use. The heel helps. The hydro's good. Um, fighter plane does help for, in this case, tier six aircraft carriers and some tier fours. So overall, I like it. Let me know down below. Are you guys going to go for the Pan American? So far, I'm enjoying it. Uh, as always, um, you know, let me know down below. As always, take care. Stay safe. Wish you all the best. So, uh, bye for now.